Elvis produced a long needle from a box sitting on the ground. I sighed relief. It was the only clean thing in this hut. We both sat on a loose piece of linoleum, covering a dirt floor, windows open to the village, no screens, no curtains. Elvis was a short, thin Indonesian man. He fed the needle into a black box, a motor. It reminded me of a, one of those fancy pen holders you'd find on the desk of a CEO. It seemed odd since we were in the rainforest village in the center of Sumatra. Now, all my adult life, I'd wanted a tattoo. Uh, in high school, my buddies and I debated which Calvin and Hobbes scene was cooler. They said the one where he's peeing. I thought the red wagon flying downhill was more tasteful. I never got one because the tattoo parlors told us you had to be 18. In college, all my bros got fraternity letters, tattooed, a, a big sigma, a big new. When I got up the courage to get mine, the normal guy Pinky was booked. So I went next door. The 50-ish looking tattoo artist sporting a sweet mullet barked, This is art. I don't do brandings. Discouraging. Did I really want a tattoo? Or did I want to fit in with my friends? In 15 or 20 years, would I really want Calvin, Hobbes, and Sigma Nu on my body? Back in Elvis's hut, using a cotton ball, he swabbed alcohol on my ankle and tossed it out the window. Afterwards, I had poked my head out and saw a two-foot pile of cotton. Elvis had been busy. The motor whirled, and my leg was his open canvas. My only direction was batik. Free-handed, he held the needle like a pen, dabbed in ink, and dug into my leg. It didn't hurt. It was more obnoxious than painful. When people see it for the first time, I get really excited that they'll want to know more. I had spent the better part of a year in Asia before I walked into Elvis's tattoo hut. This batik, it, it, it's, it's, it's not about being part of a group. It's mine. It's my freedom and my adventure. Years later, uh, after a yoga class in Boston, a guy came over and pointed at my tattoo. I assumed the question, yeah, what's your tattoo? But instead he said, did Elvis do that? Yes, how did you know? He showed me a giant gecko crawling up his back filled with the swirls and fades of the batik. We both knew these tattoos were more than just works of art. 